today i am going to talk about data reduction in big data mining as usual any data has to be stored in a database so first if you look at the looking at it in a bigger scheme of things we are trying to filter a large very large database result set into manageable units step by step so in this so this this is a, something totally called big data this is big data this is medium data this is small data so in this video we are not concerning ourselves with the modalities of data reduction but we'll more more concerned about terminology there may be more than one way to do data reduction this is something that occurred to me first thought but uh, there may be other ways of doing data reduction so this is a server this is a server this is a client in this case i am imagining a http protocol there could be other ways of doing data reduction as i already said before so this is a database server table there are 3 million rows and 25 columns using a select statement we are narrowing down this huge record set or result set into 2 million rows and 3 columns but it's still in the server uh so when in, in server it could be in memory or it could be on the disk if it is on the disk it is called page file if it is in memory it is in memory it could be in a buffer it could be in a cache but in most cases it's in a ram random access memory so from 3 million rows and 25 columns we have narrowed down to 2 million rows and 3 columns but this whole thing cannot be transferred over the wire 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 full or wireless continuing so we are transmitting two main rows and three columns page by page through http to the client so in this case since we have since since we see http we assume that it is a web browser client it need not be a web browser client it could be a web services client it could be a web browser or it could be a web services client and once the browser receives this amount of data through the this protocol it's going to store it in memory so this is in memory database so this is in memory but we are going to store it in a physical we might be able to store it in a local storage that only the browser can access so currently this i think the standard is indexed to db so from this we are going uh, we are going to store we we are going to need um, we are one page of data 500 rows and two columns page by page so there may be n number of pages in a specific page there are 500 rows with two columns so protocol over the wireless or wireful we are going to send and receive data using get put post etc data transfer methodology so ultimately in the browser you are going to you are man actually manipulating big data through the browser or using web services which might not be using a web browser the, the user of the web services could be using a, a client program so i am making sure we don't miss any keywords we saw what is a cache what is a buffer those could be anywhere these are in memory data structures this cache buffer this could be in uh, called in umbrella term in memory database it could take the form of a cache it could take of take the form of a buffer in a buffer you take it as one by one uh, so the whole thing 
is about a database this is a database this this is a database this is a database but they are not exactly three databases you see this database and this database could be the same database we are only filtering this record set of this database into a manageable chunk or unit so we saw what is a database we saw what is a in-memory database uh, we saw what is a query optimization uh, with specific reference to data set reduction data set reduction for optimal wire transmission to a remote destination to a remote IP addressable destination so as you can see I am saying web browser or web service so this has an IP address server has an IP address too this is this could be one IP this could be another IP but usually these are both visible as the same IP because these are natted network address translation so I, I hope I didn't confuse a lot so we are actually we have been actually looking at a progressively reducing result set from this result set to this result set to this result set we are ma making the big data manipulatable in tiny chunks okay I think I covered all the key terms yeah I missed this front end back end this is your front end this is your back end back end we can call we can call this as a remote front end is your local so we are now looking at data we have been looking at data reduction in big data mining with so many terminology concepts involved that's it uh, thank you